Hi, folks. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to the Million Dollar Intel Make Something Unreal Contest luncheon. Today is the day we're going to reveal our grand prize. What you're going to see here today on these videos are mostly the, the grand prize winners and a couple other, um, a couple other of, the, of the contestants from the finals, but we had all kinds of ca categories. We had categories for best character. We had categories for best um, weapon. We had best deathmatch level, best vehicle CTF level. So we really, we really spread the prize money around to as many different categories as we could. I'm going to let Chris talk a bit about Intel's involvement in the contest, and then we're going to show you some videos and get to announcing some of the winners. Our visual adrenaline program has presented the tools for compiling, for developing, for uh, our new graphics performance analyzer, for tuning. And then when we add on top of that, either the Unreal Engine or now the UDK, which is available through our partner program, it, it really gives the power that to the developers at the, at the working level, at the ground level, the grassroots, what I think is the heart and soul of the gaming industry. All right, so we're gonna show you some of the various videos. These are in no particular order. The first one is called The Haunted. It's a very polished horror action game with a very compelling multiplayer element. All right, next we have Prometheus, which is a puzzle solving game with your past and future selves. Now, our grand prize winner is The Haunted. So I'd actually like to invite the team from The Haunted to come up on stage and we have a little uh, presentation for them. They're gonna take this right to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Gerhard, Jack, and Thomas from The Haunted and I'd like to, on behalf of Epic and Intel, I would like to present you with the grand prize check for $50,000. And of course, we don't have any way to represent this on stage, but they've also won a full commercial license for Unreal Engine 3. So congratulations, guys. Thanks, we would have never imagined that we actually win this today. So first of all, we want to thank Michael Hegemann, who couldn't be, us, couldn't be with us here today. So um, we also thank all the contributors to The Haunted that uh, provided additional content. We also want to say special thanks to Epic for actually uh, doing this contest together with Intel. Of and of course, uh, that they give the chance to every indie dev developer with the Unreal Development Kit so they can go commercial. And other than that, uh, we just want to announce that we plan to go uh, commercial too, and our new website is um, health-reach.com. So if you want to check it out, that's it. Thanks. Great. Well, one of the greatest things of the Make Something Unreal contest and the past Make Something Unreal contest that we've done is it's a real springboard for people to go from making a mod to being part of the actual game industry in a commercial sense. And a lot of the guys that have worked on mods in the past now work for a lot of our customers who have licensed Unreal Engine technology, a lot of other gaming companies and publishers. We even have a fairly large group of people at Epic that came from the mod community. And it's contests like these that allow you to find out who these people are, see the quality of their work. It's, I've always said doing a mod is one of the greatest resumes you can have. Intel and Epic partnered on the Make Something Unreal contest. We've been operating the contest for about two years. And this is the, this is, these are the final awards, the grand prize awards. We're very excited about what it's brought to the developer community, the involvement that we've been able to have, the amazing output, just the, the games and the, the real true commercial quality that have come out of the, the finalists. And uh, this is at a time when, when we've been increasing our involvement with the developer community in video gaming. Um, we've got you know, a ton of new tools coming out specifically targeted at graphics and gaming and visual computing. Well, it's a, a third-person action game where you beat monsters or shoot monsters. It's just like an action game. Very fast, very, it's all about using melee and weapons and well, fight monsters, have fun. Well, my favorite weapon, I would say, is the Witch Hammer, which is basically a, kind of like a drill that rotates and spins the monster around till it explodes into little gips. That's, that's my favorite weapon. The best thing about the Unreal technology is that it's very straightforward. It's a very design-driven engine. People can just go in and start create. They don't really have to spend a lot of time to, to learn lots of complicated things. They can just go in and create. It's very easy. We didn't really expect to win, so... 
just great. Thank you, Intel and Epic.